Here we are. Woo-hoo! Lunch We're therapy. Yes. So today is going to be really fun. I have this beautiful background here from the oh, I hate mine. elusive Jeff Lohman, who is out there in Thailand. And let's see if we can get some music to go along with this. One of the things he was saying is there's a mist that is coming off in the mountains there. You might want to look for that. It is Barefoot Tuesday. Ganyel has pointed that out, which is great. Barefoot Tuesday is where nobody wears shoes. I have the incomparable Blas Lorenzo in the green room now. And uh, let's see, are you there, Blas? Are you there? The guest has muted themselves. Hello? Oh, there he is. Hey! Okay, give me, give me, let me just, if I oh, can. Oh, yeah, take your time. If I may. Uh, trying to, let me, let me see if I can make this happen. It'd be interesting if it works. Okay. Uh, so today, right, what do we I'm have today? Go. Today we have. Hello? Okay, I'm putting you, I'm, I'm muting you. Because I'm going to bring on this incredible, okay, so we have had on the show a lot. We have had hand pans. And I don't know if anybody knows what this instrument is, but if you're watching the show, you do. It's an instrument that was invented in around 2000. And there is a person named Sun Q that I found who is going to delight us with some of his hand pan and some of his uh, water drum here. And let me get this on. It's a video of him playing and we are allowed to play it. So I think you'll find this really great. So what he has here is a hand pan and then some water drums that he has made. And his, uh, the link to buy his music is down in the show notes. So check that out. And his name is Sun Q. Put his name on the screen there. Make sure Bloss takes his shoes off before coming inside. Hopefully Bloss has his shoes off. Bloss is a uh, DJ and a comedian and an actor. So he's going to appreciate this Sun Q music. If I can only be quiet, allow us to listen to it. This is going to be a very therapeutic day except for the disruptions from Bloss. I have been studying hand pan and also studying breathing. We're going to talk about breathing. We're going to talk about alpacas. And I'm going to show you something cool here. How you can play your own hand pan. And also we're going to have a contest. That's why Bloss is here. We're going to have a contest winner of the contest is going to bring home a Nerf football. Yes. So um, last week we had Mike McFarlane on the show. He's called the Heavy Metal Dad. And uh, I asked him what his favorite toy was. And he said the Nerf football. So we're going to provide the Nerf football to the lucky winner of the contest. We're going to get right into the contest early on in the show because we got to get to it. But first, Sun Q. Sun Q, his music is uh, down below. He plays all kinds of instruments. One of them is the hand pan, and I'm going to show you how you can play your own hand pan next on Lunch Therapy. So there is an app, believe it or not, that I found where you can play your own hand pan, and I'm going to call that up here. It's a very high-tech show today. This is it. There is also a link to this in the show notes. This is a virtual hand pan. And uh, what it is, is you can choose many different hand pans and play them. 
on your iPhone. As I'm doing right here, I see Chuck Goldsmith is here. I see Guignel is saying that app is so cool. Yeah, this is rad. So the, the link is in the show notes. You can get your own. It's totally free. And one of the things about hand pans is they come in all kinds of different keys. This is a scale that you can play. So you can try these out because some of you, if, you're, if you want to buy a hand pan, which they're very expensive, they cost somewhere, the good ones are like $3,500. So you want to make sure you get the right key. So you can test it out right there on their website. And you can also play music. Yes, you can uh, hit this little microphone down there and you can record yourself playing the hand pan. I haven't learned how to play it yet, but you can see. So there you go. There's my gift for you today from yashima.com where they have their own hand pans and they, you've got all the different styles of it. I'm going to bring... I'm going to have Bloss uh, chime in here. Bloss? Yo. Did you ever play the handpan? Uh, actually, uh, no. I, I, well, I mean, you know, you know what? Too much thinking going on. Too much thinking. Thinking is not allowed on the show, Bloss. Um, let's see. Yeah. Singing bowls. Singing bowls are Can those crystal me? bowls. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Do you, I'm gonna bring, do you hear double stuff? I'm going to bring you on. I don't know. I like what? double stuff. No, I, no, no. Are you I'm hearing right, I'm right here, I'm right here. yourself? I'm okay, right here. hold on one second. Double I'm stuff. Right. Let me bring you on myself. for a second. Let me bring you on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Blas Lorenzo. There oh, he is. hello. Why, hello. Hi, why, hello, uh, Hi hello, there. Hello, hello, hello. There's Blas. He's going to be here. We're going to be doing a contest. Let's get into it, but we first have to breathe. Wait, do you have something to say? Wait, Bloss? are we gonna are you gonna do the contest now or around twelve thirty? Well, I was gonna do it at twelve thirty, and then you appeared. So, do you want to wait oh, till twelve thirty? Well, what it is is, I, yeah, I want to watch a show because I asked a few people if they wanted to come in and okay. compete. I All said right. uh, it would be around twelve thirty, but I want to watch the show. I like okay. enjoy the show. All right, while enjoy we, the uh, show. Enjoy we'll my see therapy. You. I need my lunch. I need my lunch therapy. We will see you. There's going to be some good therapy here. We're going to breathe in the beginning here. I'm going to let you go, and I'm Let's going to bring go. you back for the contest at 1230. Right Let's on. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's get into the show. This is a lot of talk, a lot of thinking, and here we go. It is lunch therapy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm out here in the water. I've got Bloss in the uh, green room. He's hanging out with Boney now. He's going to maybe uh, do some breathing exercises. Um, Howard Aronin says... <sighs> there he is. He's breathing. He's breathing. Um, Howard says singing bowls or hand pans. It's a good, good question. So th what's the difference between a singing bowl and a hand pan? Well, a singing bowl is uh, usually a crystal bowl, and you take the little mallet around there, and it, it sings. And apparently it is very therapeutic. And then the hand pan is a big metal instrument that is more like a drum. They started out, I think, um, I think they are inspired by the steel drums of Jamaica and various other places. Um, happy International Clash Day. Today is the international day of the band Clash. So we're going to breathe. Clash. And, um, we're going to do a special breathing technique today. It is called pranayama. So I spent a lot of time this weekend learning about breathing, and I'm going to pass on some of that information to you uh, today. And first thing that I'm going to pass on is the ancient, ancient art of pranayama. And pranayama is something that was uh, devised in India. It is in the Vedas. And I learned about it in Goa, India, from a man named Shir Shamesh. And he 
had us doing a lot of meditation, a lot of yoga. He's a kind of a, an expert at it. He is an expert at it. But then he had us do this breathing and I'm like, why are we doing this? I don't, you know, and I'm not really the kind of person that is like, I don't want to waste my time doing this. I try, I'll try just about anything if I think it's not going to kill me, uh, as long as it's not super dangerous. But I didn't know why we were doing this, but we're going to do it and we're going to see what that feels like. Uh, basically, you take your hand and you take the first two fingers and you fold them down, right? And this, basically, we're going to put your nose between these two fingers and you just hold your nose with this and then what we're going to do is this side closes that nostril this side closes that nostril and then if you close them both you close the nostril completely so what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in through one side of the nose the left side of the nose and then we're going to hold it and then we're going to breathe out the other side of the nose and we're going to do this five times as an experiment here we go so again <clears throat> make this Hopefully Bloss is doing this. I see he is. Uh, we're going to hold the nose, and now we're going to let go of the thumb, and we're going to breathe in through that nostril. And then we're going to hold it. Just hold the nose, and then let go of the fingers. You're going to breathe out that left side of the nostril. Now, some of you might have, be experiencing that one side, one nostril is more closed than the other, and that's totally normal. And the weird thing about it is you might find that um, one side is more closed and the other side is more open, and tomorrow or even 10 minutes from now, it'll be the opposite because our noses actually swell and contract, strangely enough. Singing bowls can be made of metal. Yes, Tibetan bowls can be made of metal. That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, so let's do it again. We're going to put our thumb here. We've got our hand in this weird thing. And we're going to breathe in through the left side. We're going to hold it. And we're going to breathe out the other side. And we're going to do it again, except we're going to breathe in the thumb side. Hold it, and let go of the finger side. Breathe in the finger side. Hold it. Breathe out the thumb side. OK, well, cleared things up, but it also gives you energy. We're going to talk more about breathing as we go along, but um, these are the things that uh, we're going to learn today. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go straight now to an inter, uh, uh, a movie review. So we're going to do a movie review. We're going to talk about alpacas. We're going to do a contest. So there's a, a comedian named Just Jay, Jay Patterson, who's been on the show multiple times. And she has a special review. This is a new segment we call Comedians Doing Movie Reviews. And she has a very unusual one. She went to see the, the, um, the latest Guillermo del Toro movie. And let's see what she had to say about it. I am so glad you're here. <laughs> I am exhausted, Becky. You will not believe this. Oh. So, Joel has hired me to be the R-rated male frontal nudity movie critic. And I said, I can do this. So, my first job was Nightmare Alley with Bradley Cooper, frontal nudity. I thought, Bradley Cooper, I'm on top of this. <laughs> So I came today, and don't, don't I look tired? I'm exhausted. I had to watch it three times, and three cups of this, <laughs> just to see if I saw, really saw the penis. So disappointed. You know what? Penises in the tub do not count. <laughs> the water distorts it. You can't see any details or the size. Come on. Anyway, I thought, okay, this, you know, I'm gonna give it some more chance. Rest of the movie, never saw it again, ever. So, 
I'm very disappointed. I'm gonna rate this movie flaccid for frontal male nudity. Hmm. And this is just Jay, roving reporter slash male R-rated frontal nudity movie critic. Wow. That was a, quite a review. Splendid. I think that's a new uh, segment that we're going to have. I don't know if it's always going to be reviewing male frontal nudity because I don't know how much of that is going on. Uh, but uh, I think that that is a pretty incredible review. I don't know if anybody in the chat room has seen that movie. But yeah, that was pretty awesome. And I do think, Danielle, you're right. We do, <laughs> we do need to get just Jay on an alpaca. Um, I, maybe the alpaca could be pronging. I don't know if you've ever heard of pronging, but that's what alpacas do. They jump up and down. Um, let's get right into it. Alpaca time, wildlife therapy. Where are the alpacas? Hey! Yeah. <laughs> hey there, we got an alpaca here. Hey guys, I don't know, uh, I don't know if you can hear me because I'm kind of an alpaca, but I wanted to tell you about my friend here. Okay, I don't know how long you can do this. I can't even see in this thing. Maybe that's a new uh, lunch therapy character, I'm not sure. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk a little bit about a alpacas now. Uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get that alpaca thing going. I was getting kind of claustrophobic there in the uh, alpaca mask. So alpacas. First of all, I want to clear up there's a difference between alpacas. I'm going to get uh, Bloss on here to see if he wants to comment. But uh, I just have him on his audio as he watches the show. So there's alpacas and then there's llamas right and llamas are bigger they've got pointier noses and alpacas have a lot more uh, fur that you can uh, shear and make into some beautiful socks I'm liking her review yeah i did like i'd like just jay so i you know the idea of getting just jay on an alpaca i don't know if we can do that because i don't know if you can ride Alpacas? No, no. Bloss? Can no, you? no, no, no. You can't no, ride? No, you can't ride no. Oh. No, I can ride an alpaca, but I don't want to see Jay. You don't want to see Jay on one? <laughs> no, no, no. I think no. it's... I want to uh, see Jay at the movies. You want to see her at the movies, see. yeah. She, it seems like she's found like a niche for herself at the movies. Uh, but okay, so what more about alpacas? Alpacas do a thing called pronging. It's where they jump up and down and... Uh, you know, maybe we could have a little bit of that on the show later. Um, but why do they do it? Let me see if I can actually find some pronging. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's some pronging um, right here. There they are, they kind of bounce up oh. and down. Yeah, it's cool. There's maybe some other ones here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there they, see how they bounce up and down like that? As with most, yep. As with most alpacas, and other animals, they do things that we don't know why they do them. And we think that alpacas are, are pronging because they're showing off. They're trying to get a mate. They're showing how strong they are. Um, some people think that maybe they just do it for fun. Others think it's because they um, are jumping up to see what's over the hill, uh, see if there's a predator coming. Some people think that they are trying to show the predator how strong they are. All the good salad. <laughs> it's good to see Mary Marks here. Um, love having her on the show. What else do I know about alpacas? Not very much, not very much, except that I want one and I don't think I can have one. They don't bite. Why don't they bite? They don't bite because they don't have lower, um, they don't have teeth on the upper part. They don't have upper upper teeth. I don't know if that's true. Maybe somebody can fact, fact check that, but from what I hear, um, they're super docile animals. They're very friendly. In fact, if you have a pet alpaca, you gotta have at least two other ones because they need to have friends and you, 
a cat won't do and a goat won't do. It has to be other alpacas. And you can't really have a male and a female because you want to have like all females or maybe all males because the males are just so darn into the females. They're so excited. I mean, look, they're just so beautiful um, that they won't leave them alone. So they're, they're always, uh, you know, trying to get some action with the female al alpacas and the alpacas, they just can't, it's just too much, it's too much. And they get, you know, infections and they have, you know, too many babies and, you know, it's just, it's just not good. So if you're gonna get an alpaca, just make sure you get all one sex unless you're gonna, you wanna make some more alpacas. Um, do they spit like camels? It's a very good question below. Um, they did actually, when I was growing up, there was a, a place called Squim, which is out on the islands near Seattle. And uh, some people, they wanna pronounce it Sequim because it looks like Sequim when you write it out, but it's actually Squim. And for me, that was a magical place because you could go there and you could uh, see llamas and yes they would spit at you um, they only spit when they're scared or they feel like there's some kind of aggression and actually alpacas and llamas both spit yeah they do camels spit too huh hello too much sex can be bad yeah it can be it can be all right so now uh it's almost time <laughs> it's almost time for the the contest. Are you ready, Bloss? Are you ready for the contest? Ready. You ready? I'm ready. I don't, I, I, is anybody going to be out there? Is anybody? Does anybody yeah, there's want people some? out there. What's happening? Oh, yeah, there's people out there. What's happening? We're going to have let's a contest dance. Let's here. Dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. You want to dance? dance? All right, let's dance. let's dance. Let's do this thing. All right, here we go. Contest time. Woo! Contest music. Yeah, I'm talking about it. Oh, ho, ho. All right. <laughs> So here's what we have here. We have a contest. Yeah, Blas, yes! So good to see you. So it's Tuesday. Come on. We're uh, screwing Very around on the Tuesday, internet. Baby. It's time to get down. We're gonna have some uh, here. contest, yeah? Hold on. I'm on the air right now. Are you gonna compete or not? Okay? I gotta go. <laughs> uh, Ivan is here. He's no longer capable of pronking. It's terrible. I As you get older, you can't pronk. What? Come on, Ivan. You gotta put your back into it, baby. Little elbow grease. Do you know Ivan? Ivan has a channel. Ask Ivan where you uh, ask him computer questions. And that would be good for you, Bloss. Oh, what? Wait, everybody, time out. Time yeah. Out, Ivan. What's <laughs> Yeah, he's got a, he's got a YouTube channel where you can just ask him anything you want and he'll make a little video about, about it. This is great uh, for you. I I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to post that right now. You need, you need to put that on there. What's his link? What, what's the I deal? will give you that link. I will give everybody that. Put it link. on there. Put it on. Let everybody know. I will you let everybody know. Ivan, don't mean to bombard I, you, but you know, I don't the next know. four people that reach out to you about computer stuff, you just pay attention and be patient. That's all. It's called Hey Ivan. Hey Ivan. <laughs> Is it a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's a YouTube it channel. A, you just go Hey website. Ivan. You put it hey in there. Hey Ivan. Hey Ivan. Um, let me just show I'm show it to y'all. Hold on one second. Um, that's Hey Ivan there. <laughs> just go to YouTube and put in Hey, hey Ivan. Ivan's got a good smile. Oh, Ivan's Look fantastic. He's been on the show before. Oh, come on, yeah, you got to check it out. This, you gotta, this is made for you. Oh, it's totally made for you. Forget about it. All Ivan, right. how do you plug in an eighth inch jack into the side of a uh, MacBook Air 2022? Oh my God, I'm so glad that I have now. Um, yeah, there he is. Hey, Ivan. I'm so, can we ask him now? <laughs> yeah, you can I ask him did, now. I didn't I? Did I just ask him? <laughs> yeah, ask him whatever you want. On? He's right here. Was I, was I not on when I asked hey, him? Hey, Ivan, how does Joel go viral? We're both trying to figure that out with our YouTube channels. We're trying to figure out the viral. Uh, oh, we're going to get viral. We're, we're going to get, get some viral going on here. Gonna, we, maybe we, not the good We're about kind. to get so viral. <laughs> it's going to be like uh, uh, virusy, like... <laughs> All right, so here's the contest. Right. It's called Jokes and Their Jokers. I've got the chat up in the corner here, and they're going to compete with you. What is that? Is that a coupon? Cash in on a heap of savings. <laughs> All right, the winner of this thing is going to, I am going to personally send them a Nerf football. Oh, so uh, that could be you. Uh, 
last last week's topic with um yeah uh, the big guy. heavy metal dad heavy metal heavy metal dad, dad. comic <laughs> comic mike mcfarland right mike mcfarland with the nerf football yeah i got a black eye with one of those ones did you actually i broke a vertebrae how did <laughs> i was in traction i was in traction for like a couple wait a minute how does that happen I got. I went out for a pass, and I was supposed to do a button hook, and I didn't turn around. He hit me in the back, broke oh a vertebrae, like my L7 or my L5 or something like that. And then I, uh, I was in traction for about three or four hours, and then they let me go. John Peckinpah says a dry one. Yes, a dry, <laughs> a dry one. Because you know they get wet. I don't know. Did you have that that's, problem? I think that's how I got hurt. It yeah. was raining. It was raining. That's when they become just like lead. Uh, All right, let's uh, get on. Okay, uh, so this is a compilation of two different. Um, competitions and uh, if you're not good at one you might be really good at the other one so the first thing is jokes and their jokers this is a thing that we've done on the show before and what it is is I show you a joke and I show you three comedians and you tell me which one of the comedians said the joke sound easy do I just blurt out my answer or do I gotta type it in you gotta blurt it out because if you can beat the oh. chat room the chat room's delayed I don't oh. know 20 seconds something like that oh so I got like a 20 second lead this yeah time, you got a 20 like, second lead this is how, like this is how, this is how they do Jeopardy. This is rigged like, in your favor, dude. Champion, it's totally rigged in your favor. Yeah, is, like, yeah, I love it. I love it. Do they do that on Jeopardy? They give it, give you a lead? They, they give the champion 20 seconds extra to think about what the answer is. And <sighs> the other I always wondered in. why they don't just blurt it out, like, immediately, you know? <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. Love you, babe. Love you. All right, love here you. we go. So here's one. I'm going to have to move the little box here. All right. There's the box. Everybody can chat. Better start reading it. In the beginning, there was nothing. God said, let there be light. There was light. There was still nothing, but you could see a whole lot better. Carol Burnett. So look, already people are saying. Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, wow. Okay, so Ellen. no one, no one Ellen. picked Ellen. No one picked Ellen yet, or no one I got. I pick Ellen. I pick Ellen. I All pick right, Ellen. let's see who it is. Well, that was great how you were just right off the bat like that. Burnett. Okay. It's uh, mm. not, okay. It's not Carol. Come on, Carol. Oh, Ooh. yeah, you got it. You got it. Woo! Yeah, you know, it's sometimes people get frustrated with this game because the chat room is just a little behind. Uh, but this but, is, but I'll know, tell you, it's a good question. It's a very good question. It's a good one, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. And those uh, the three people that to choose from was actually very good, too. But I had to yeah. break it down you know, mentally. I had to break it yeah, down. Yeah, some of these some of these are tough. All right. So here we go. Yeah. I'm going to do the next one. Uh, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Outside of a dog, a book is a man's best friend. Inside of a dog, it's too dark to read. Groucho Marx. Groucho Marx. Wow, you're quick. You're smart to go for it right away because, you know, that way at least you've, you've beat, beaten the chat room. That's a really good, good um, strategy that you have there. I'm trying to look oh, for my... I'm a gamer. I'm, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying. I'm like, you uh, I'm system? a Jeopardy dude. I'm a, I'm a Wheel of Fortune dude. You're, in, in, are you intensely con Wheel competitive? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. All right. Let's Wheel see who it is. So let's see if the chat room. Chat room has said George Channel Burns, seven. Harpo, Channel seven. Marx. Everybody's going. A lot of people are going for Marx. Let's see. Uh, did somebody say Harpo? Because he's not yeah. on the list. I know. I know Harpo. Yeah. That's the. I, well, they can be. Um, Little caddy there. Come the on, George. Get out of there, George. Get out of there, George. Bang! Yes. Too many words for George, baby. Too many. You got words it. You got it, man. For George. Would you say that uh, George Burns uses more words? I say too many words for George. Too many words for George. Too many words for George. But a dark uh, joke. A little bit yeah. of Groucho. That little Groucho. All right, so that was good. That's a kind of a famous Groucho quote, I think. I'm going to yeah, uh, get the is. scoreboard up because this is... Pretty, he was talking about himself when he made that joke. Up. This is getting to be pretty com competitive. Um, I've never seen... I think maybe you're the most competitive guest we've had on the show. We've had some pretty competitive people. Boss. Either you're a winner or you're in second place. Do you uh, hang out with, uh, with uh, Trump a lot? No, is that where let you me tell those? you, dear baby Jesus, giving us this great food and this Kentucky Fried Chicken that my wife made. Oh my God, you're praying. Taco Bell. This is great. The Wiener Snitchels. I've never had a contestant pray before. 
Let's see if it, well, let's see if it works. I did. We did the breathing at the beginning of the show. Hopefully, you did that. That actually gets your uh, synapses firing. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just uh, there was a what is that? Oh, something on my keyboard that was bothering me. <laughs> but I think maybe, it maybe we can maybe we can uh, get Hey Ivan to answer a question: How to clean your keyboard? Ivan, how do you get a bee stinger out of key J? Are you ready? Uh, Are you ready laptop? for the next one? Are you ready? Can you do it? I'm ready. Okay, okay. let's do it. Anyone can be confident with a full head of hair. A confident bald man. There's your diamond in the rough. Larry David. Larry David. Uh, there are two bald guys in there. and one. Woman. Yeah, but Bill Burr, he doesn't concentrate on his hair like that so much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Larry David, that, that looks like a long Larry David comment. I'm going to let the chat could be, room. Could be, could be a, great, a great Bill Burr joke, though. But Leslie Jones, I don't think she cares if a man has hair on his head as long as he's, you know, as long as he's, uh, <laughs> you know, as long as he's carrying something. You, you know what I'm saying? you got yourself a And, and wait a minute. There. She's not gay. Is she gay? Maybe she's gay. Maybe she don't care about me. I don't know. Sure. I don't know. I know. I'm not sure either, but, you know. Um, let's go for it. Let's see. Leslie Jones, no. Mm, this is going to be a toss-up. Let's go. Here we go. Come Here on, Larry. Go. Drum roll, Sounds please. Sounds like some shit Larry David would say. Come on, curb <laughs> your enthusiasm. Yeah, enthusiasm. nice. This game is rigged. Where is our... Uh, Seinfeld, Seinfeld. Yeah, that was great. All right, so it yeah, was, this game is it? rigged. I mean, come on. This game is totally rigged. Come on. Hey, it's one of the most talented, uh, confident, bald guys you know right now. One thing I must say, for those of you in the chat room that feel like, oh man, this is rigged this time, I'm never going to win that Nerf ball, uh, I don't think the guests normally win. I think maybe mm. the chat room has won almost every time. Howard won. Howard Ronan was in the chat room, comedian, last week, mm -hmm. and he won the Sethward grotesque shirt. Oh, um, Greg Ward. Oh, here we go. I don't get high, but sometimes I wish I did. That way, when I messed up in life... I would have an excuse, but right now there's no rehab for stupidity. Uh, Kevin Hart, Chris Hart, Chris Hart, Chris Rock, going on, Chris Rock, Chris, uh, mm, Chris Rock. You're saying Chris Rock, okay. Yeah, because Amy Schumer, I mean, you know, she drinks, but I'm sure she's puffed a couple of times. Kevin Hart, come on, Kevin Hart, come on, man. Right, come on, see. bro. Let's see what the you, chat room You have to have puffed on a bowl once or twice. Maybe you haven't, and I don't know. But I've never heard Chris Rock talk about smoking weed. Tina Dave says, Chappelle. Tina's Adam says Amy Schumer. Guineal says Joel Marshall. Um, that's not one of the choices. Joel John Peckinpah Marshall. says Kevin Joel Hart. Joel Marshall on Joel Marshall smoking weed? Oh, I got to see that. <laughs> love to. No, he, he says, I, the person Have says, I, I don't it? get high. I don't get high. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So. You don't want to see it. You don't want to <laughs> see it. <laughs> Okay, so your final answer is Chris Rock, right? With, uh, Chris Rock. All right. Let's see who got Chris Rock. Let's see. A lot of people are saying Kevin Hart. Uh, nobody agrees with you in the chat room so far. Uh, so are you sure you... Oh, there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everyone's saying Kevin Hart. Are you sure you don't want to change your answer to Kevin Hart? I, 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 I'm just going to stick with Chris Rock because, I mean, even if Kevin Hart never smoked weed before, yeah. I mean, you know, you can't rehab stupidity, and he's right, but I, like I think it. I'm going to rock with Rock. I like your logic. This is great. Oh, okay. It is, oh, Chris Rock and Amy Schumer and hmm. Chris Rock. Oh, whoa, man. I am just impressed. You, <laughs> that was great. What you, okay. Five to nothing. <laughs> Five to nothing. I think that the chat room's pretty, pretty shocked about that one. Pretty shocked they lost. Hey, um, oh. maybe the chat room, maybe they want like a lifeline or something. You want to give them a lifeline? What would, who would they call? Uh, Ghostbusters? I don't know, but somebody, <laughs> anybody. I, I could put you know a link. Saying, I could put a Let's link go, for that for someone to come on if they wanted to come on and just challenge you oh, face to face. Wow! Wouldn't that be crazy? Wow! That would oh, be oh, a first. Oh, oh, oh. If anybody out there in the chat room wants to come on the show and just compete right there head to head that's it's totally yes, cool no, um that would be crazy nerf ball nerf football coming at you that's a big fork and a spoon blossom 
It what? is. Yeah. It what is. do you What do you eat with those? I, I, you know, like you raviolis. Ravi- <laughs> yeah. Maybe some uh, angel hair pasta. All right. Let's see the next one. You got to use both. You got to use both utensils. You know, you got to got to scoop the noodles. Here's the next one. Breastfeeding is the savage into this ritual that just reminds you that your body is a cafeteria now. Oh, I love that, Ali Wong. Is you're going with Ali Wong? Oh yeah, God. absolutely. There's I'm only gonna... two comedians that could pull that joke off. One is yeah. Ali Wong, and the other one is the Wong of Ali. <laughs> What's the... she's got a new one out too, right? Uh, I think so, but I'm not sure. You know, it's Don I, Wong. She better be pregnant. I think she it's Don be Wong. That's yeah, <laughs> she's got to be. She ain't pregnant, man. I ain't watching. Ali, you got that? <laughs> Uh, John Peckinbaugh says Ali Wong. Nice. All right. No one says uh, Not Samantha Peckinpah. B. The Peckinpah? Yeah, like, the John Peckinpah. Grandfather's <clears throat> Peckinpah? Oh, yeah. I mean, guy? he made all those movies. Yep. No. Chuck says uh, Samantha would... B. <laughs> Tina no. says Ali Wong agrees. Come on. I think my... Uh, I think my little widget here that has the comments in it is maybe even more behind. Mm. I, don't know. I don't see. Mm. I don't see a lot of the comments. But anyway, so a lot of people are saying Ali Wong. Tina is saying it. Charles is saying Samantha B. John is saying Ali Wong. Jose Salas says Ali Wong. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's see. Let's there's see. there's one more comedian, but yeah, I just can't remember her name. But she's so good with the. With the mother, the mom jokes, you know, the, the the mother jokes with the kids, and the and especially during like pregnancy and infantiles kind of stuff. Like she's super funny, man. I, li- I like her a lot. All right, let's um, see this thing. Oh, I can't remember her name. I'm sorry, my bad. Well, you, maybe okay. She's, uh, Ali Wong, she's Julia, good. She's Julia talented. Louis Dreyfus, Ali Wong, and this. Whoa. <laughs> Who's six for six? Uh, Who a, I think is there's a, six for six. I think there's a Nerf ball in your future. I definitely think so. I hope you don't, you know, kill yourself with it. Okay, here's no, one. My wife is always I'm trying to get rid of me. Yeah, Last night she told me to put the garbage out. I told her I already did. She told me to go keep an eye on it. See Louis Rodney. Anderson. <laughs> it's either Rodney Dangerfield, <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield, Rodney Dangerfield. Come All on, right. man. The great Rodney Dangerfield. That's right. I don't know if you get a point for that. You know, Carson couldn't keep up with him. You know that, right? What do you mean? Carson Tell us. couldn't keep up with the uh, Rodney Dangerfield. Like, like he's got he's the master of one-liners. You know what I mean? Like he tell everything he says is the setup and then a joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything, everything he says. Like if you go back and look at his stuff, it's like it's you know he might like take my wife and then he says yeah. a joke. But if yeah. you say if you stay consistent with him, he's bang 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 bang. Yeah. He's you know great. even if he goes bang and it's kind of a joke, he goes bow and then he hits you again. King I heard, of one-liners, man. I heard an interview with um, Jim Carrey, and he was talking about how Rodney Dangerfield was like a mentor to him. Oh. Who would th- even think? Who would even guess the two? I know, because cause King of the One-liners and Jim is yeah. more like impersonations uh, and right? Yeah. Yeah, but like, you know what I mean? Improvisational and stuff. But yeah. then when you got when you got like Robin Williams, Andy Kaufman, and, and Rodney Dangerfield in your head, that's yeah. why Jim Carrey's the way he is. You know what I mean? Like, this shit is on. Well, Jim Carrey when would he's like. On, he's on. Jim Carrey uh, would challenge himself. He was in uh, Las Vegas, and he was doing a show every night. But every night he would have new material, and he would go up on the stage without any material and just try and, because you know, he could always do impressions and things, but he wouldn't do it. He just would. So he was. So he wouldn't go back to old stuff. He would constantly yeah. try to do something. And apparently new. it was really hard because people were just like, you know, they wanted him to do impressions and stuff like that. And he just kept. Well, yeah, but they want to see what they, they, they're, when you got a, when you got a um, residency in Vegas, it's a, usually what, an hour show, maybe, maybe hour and a half, depending mm-hmm. on what kind of headliner you are, whether it's music or comedy, right? Yeah. So people are coming to see what they know you for. That's what a residency is. Mm-hmm. Like your top hits or like your, some of your best jokes or impressions, you know, they're coming in for that quick, you know, get me off the tables. I want to go see you do this shit. You know, they're looking for that. It's like a when concert. You're coming in and you're doing. Yeah, it, but it is. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But but if you come in and challenge yourself to do new material and these people are want to hear uh, Firemaster Bill or, mm-hmm. you know, they want to see Andy Kaufman or something like that. And you're doing brand new stuff that they've never seen before that really hasn't been tested out. Then it's, you know, you, you, I think you're in a 50 50 scale there. 
people who love Jim Carrey, they're gonna laugh, and people who are expecting to see old Jim Carrey, that you know, they're gonna be like, I don't know what this is. I don't understand the reference. What's happening right now? You know what it's, I mean? That's a good. That's kind of what happens. For you. You know? It's totally a good. And with contest. the residency, you're doing what? Five, six shows a week, two yeah. shows a night. That's that's a lot, bro. That's why they take those residencies, bro, because they could do all their hits. They could compact it into an hour, hour and a half show. You know, they do it twice a night. And they get paid ton of money. And here's oh, the other yeah. best part. Like right now with the COVID, they don't yeah. have to travel. Yeah, your People audience comes to, to you. I mean, it's yeah, sort of a holy grail, coming. right, for performers. It, it, right now, right now, it's probably the smartest, smartest move. That's why some of the biggest entertainers are doing it. And that's why Vegas, their comeback is going to be because, going to be a lot because of these residencies. Well, and the gambling too, but the residencies of big stars with, you know, multiple hits and, you know, a gazillion uh, jokes and stuff like that. They're gonna, you know, his, history of, of their talent is gonna, it's gonna rain, man. Jose Vegas, says next, he the gets Vegas no, next 10, 15 years. Jose says he gets no retrospect. Yeah, it's true. Jose doesn't get any retrospect. Doesn't get any retrospect. Who does? All right, let's Jim move on Perry to the next one. This is a, a actually when I had a heavy metal dad comic Mike McFarlane on the show. We started this, and then the internet blew up. It just we we broke the internet, and we were not able to complete it. Heavy metal comic broke the internet. Yeah. Oh yeah. That guy. That guy, man. If you get him on a show, just make sure you that paid bastard. your paid your power bill because oh, you are going to be spiking, and you are going to be blowing fuses all over the place. And it is just. I mean, it's just. He's just got so much power coming through the microphone. How do you not love that guy? You gotta love him, man. You gotta you know love what I mean? it. You gotta he love always it. comes with it. Yep, always brings it. So here we go. Here's the thing. It's it's double threats. Rock stars who all also act. Ooh. And it's not just you know Ooh. just acting on like Saturday Night Live or something like that. You know because that yeah. this is like really act. Okay. They bring it like almost in the same at the same level as they're they're rocking. They rock really? and they act at the same level, these people. I mean, we're not kidding right. around. So I'll tell you what, my, fir my first answer right now? Yeah. Lyle Lovett. Lyle Lovett. I love Lyle Lovett. You know, there's two people in this that aren't in this who I love. And one is Tom Waits and the other is Lyle Lovett. I was Lovett. just going to say Tom Waits after Lyle Lovett. Yeah, they're great. They're great. But, you, you know, I kept no? them out are because I just... Are you one of them are in this? Well, I just didn't think it would be recognizable enough. I don't know. Um, somebody, me, those are two probably the, two of the best rock and rollers that act. <laughs> they really are. They really are. Then but, I'm gonna go with Dwight Yoakam. <laughs> these are great, but we're not gonna see any of those people. We're gonna see this person. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Oh my God. John Peckinpah says uh, Kevin Bacon. That's not Blondie. That's, that's Blondie. Blondie. And what is the yeah. movie? Uh, it's a hairspray. Oh my God! I gotta have you in the contest more often. You are just killing Blondie, it. Debbie, Debbie Harry, that's it. I almost said Deborah Harry. Yeah, Debbie yeah Harry. well, they say Blondie. Deborah too. And, you yeah. know, Howard got it as well. Howard is super good at this game. Howard, just stay in there, Howard. It's going to come your way. Just, just stick it, you know, stay in there, buddy. It's got to be frustrating not to be on the screen when you, when you get a challenger like this. I know, right. the, guy, the guy's trying to, he's coming at me. Okay, hairspray. Yep, you got it. How about this? Oh, I can't even remember his name. I just know that he's a crazy ass guitar player, bass player from uh, E Street Band, and yeah. he's on The Sopranos. And his name is Little Danny, Little Mikey. Little, little Mikey. He usually has when he's in the band. He usually has the scarf on his head, right? A bandana, not a the scarf. Bandana, bandana. It's, it's called a bandana, not a scarf. And it doesn't matter what color it is. He's not a crip or a blood. He's in E Street Band. He's in the That's E Street Band. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He runs with the boss. And, he's uh, in a gang, he's a though, because he's in The Sopranos. Oh, he's in the East Street Gang. I mean, the, the Sopranos? Forget about it. Yep. So a lot of people and, are saying and, and, Little Steven. Steven. Uh, Steven Van Zandt. Ah, Little Stevie? They got Stevie. it. They got Stevie. it. The Hummingbirds got it this I time. Know, but, but, is it, but is it Little Stevie or Little Steven? Uh, that's a good question. Who said Little? I think it's Little. St yeah. I'm going to go with Little Stevie. But that's, that's what Howard what said. Guignel said what did Little I say? Steven. I said Little Danny. Yeah, you were way, name. you, I don't know. But, uh, you were... I was way up on the name, but I did have the reference right, right? Yeah, you Spanos did. And East Street Band. That's going to be a hummingbird point. Right. 
That's going to be a hummingbird point. Uh, you know, they can it. have it. I, you know, I'm going to let them have it. Let's put making them feel I'm not going to contest it. I'm not going to go to the judges panel. I'm going to let it go. Yeah, you know, you could throw the red flag, maybe. Eh, not, not, not on that one. I'm going to let you have it, man. You don't get I'll, that I'll many. I'll come back and make my free throws. I'll All come right. back and make my free throws. Okay, this, somebody already said in the chat room. Oh, Meatloaf. Meatloaf. The movie? Yeah. Do you know what the movie is? Oh. Oh, he stumped. He stumped. Oh, he stumped him. Oh. Let's see if somebody shit. in the chat room can a, get it. They got meat. Is it chorus line? Chorus line. <laughs> somebody said. Is it, um, is it, um. I'm waiting for somebody to get it. What's the movie? He's got a name badge. He's wearing Look, a Look, he just got badge. gigantic. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it, that's the movie, right? Is that the picture from the movie? Oh, somebody got it. They got it. It's Fight, oh, Club. Fight Club. You bastard! They got it. Jose got it. Ganyel got it. Howard got it first. Tina Adams got Meatloaf. Um, I don't know. Jamel's going to kill me, man. He's going to kill me. <laughs> so, yeah. Man. so there's he, He's going to be like, dude, how could you not know that, dude? But you could just say you that know he... me, you, know, you know what threw me off? What? The, the, nipple, the nipple threw me off. Yeah. Well, you could have said what uh, Jose said. You don't you know talk about said? it. You don't talk about Fight Club. So you can oh, say Oh, right. Of course. Right. But which, which, I'll be honest. Yeah. That, with that alone. Yeah. They can have that point. They get that. You know, they're creeping up on you. No, I'm letting them have it. Not oh, you're them. Letting, letting them. them you're letting them letting have them it. Have okay. It. Yeah. All right. Come on, man. It's a hummingbird. Fight man. Club. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't catch it. You can't slap. Dune, uh, David Bowie. Dune, David Bowie. All right. Anybody in the chat room want to contest that? Hummingbird comeback. Let's go to 130. They want to go to Howard wants to go to 130. He wants to win. <laughs> if you do, if you get the movie, let's see. David Bowie. Um, let's see. I'm looking. Oh, somebody got it. It's Labyrinth. Is it Labyrinth? Yes. Yeah. Bowie Labyrinth. I get, you know, I, I get those movies mixed up. You know why? Because I don't really watch them. <laughs> you don't? Yeah. Yeah, you don't I watch mean, do. Labyrinth? Like when they first came when they first came out, I watched it, but I, it's not the kind of movie I went back to watch it. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Like I would have never watched uh, Star Wars four, five, and six again if it weren't for my kids, so I can introduce them to Star Wars properly. Yeah. Before they move on to other Star Wars uh, shows, you know what I mean? Yeah. They had to. It was a requirement that they had. This to sounds watch like a lot of excuses six. as to why you didn't win that one. I'll tell you. No, no, it's not an excuse. I, I, I accept I'm getting the tired of Labyrinth, these excuses. You know? I do. No, no, I accept it. I accept it. And I'll tell you what, we can go to 130, but you're still not going to win, Hummingbird. Uh, I wonder, so I wonder how many you. are left. I think we ought to go. A lot of people got Labyrinth here. Ivan got it. Mary got it. Yeah. Jose yeah, nailed yeah. it. Do they, even, do they even celebrate Labyrinth at uh, Comic Con? Do they? That's a good do question. Um, I don't know yeah. what the next one is. But do you want to go okay. like all or nothing? You like like bet some of whoa, your points? Whoa, whoa, you're asking me? Yeah. If I want to go all or, or nothing. Or like do you want to like one. go Jeopardy style? How do you do it on Jeopardy? You say I'm going to bet it's, like. It's called a true daily double. You want to do it? It's time for the daily double. Yeah. It's true daily double. True, true daily double. True daily double is even or nothing. Do you want to go for it? Do you want to go for it? Put it all in well, on the I mean, next you gotta one? Look, you got to look at what's going on here. I went seven in a row, then I lost three in a row. Yeah. So depending upon your category of, you know, the quiz, the, the, the question, I mean, right now I'm in a losing streak. You know what I'm saying? I'm 0 for 3 from behind yeah. the line. Yeah. So to go to go all or nothing on, you know, a half-court shot, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, you can't. Let's okay, go. everybody get ready. Come on. Because whatever the next nothing. one is, and I don't know what it is, it could be crazy. Um, if you get it, crazy Patsy Klein. Uh, so if if wait, what, let's just make say? sure we know what's going to happen. Right. If if right. if the hummingbirds get it, they get seven points, so they get to ten, and we'll just say they get seven points, right? And if you get it, right, I guess you win the whole thing. You win the Nerf ball. Oh, is it is the game up to ten? Yeah, yeah, we'll say ten. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta but, we gotta but, but, print the rules. You gotta somewhere. go. We gotta close out. We yeah, gotta we gotta out. close out. Right. Running out of time. All okay. right. So here's the next one. I don't know what it is. It's sort of a lottery. Get ready. Uh, Jeffrey Tambor. This is a good one. It's a good one. It's Jeffrey Tambor. Okay, Jeffrey Tambor. What movie? 
I got to name the movie too? Yeah. And the band. What's Jeffrey Tambor? What band is he in? <laughs> you know, the, the Beverly Hills Remember, Playhouse. This is Rockers. rock stars who are also actors. Oh, shit. Name the movie. Name it's the movie. movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, they won. Jeremy they got Irons. it. The new, it's the new movie. He's in Hasaguchi. Oh, that's uh, but Jose got it. No, that's okay. I, I didn't see the movie, so but I know I know uh, Lito did this character. That was uh, that was pretty amazing. But you know it's even you know it's you know it's even more telling. Yeah. What? Is the movie and the actors nobody got nominated for an Oscar today. Nobody. They were snubbed. The whole movie was snubbed. Really? The whole? Did you see it? No, I didn't see the movie. I did not see the movie. But I know for the win. Uh, that the Oscar results came out this morning. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, they got snubbed, man. We got to celebrate. Uh, Jose winning, just pulling it out there at the end. And also, you got to celebrate Blas for putting it all on the line. Because that's what we do here at Lunch Therapy. Lunch Therapy, the baby. Line. You know what? I saw Lunch House therapy. of Gucci. I saw and? House of Gucci. And? And uh, I wouldn't have nominated it for an Oscar either. And I'm not, you know, hypercritical yeah. or anything. It's just... Right, but... That's what they were talking about. They're saying they, there was so much hype behind it. By the time you watched it, it was just, nah, it was all right. That's what I thought. That's what I kind of felt. And I also that's, felt that's, like, yeah. like maybe um, the plot wasn't that engaging. They were doing a lot was of it, interesting it, character work, especially Leto. But the, yeah, but but the whole uh, concept and the story was just not great. You know, a lot of times when you do uh, biopics, you're kind of constrained yeah. by their life and you know a lot of times your life's not that exciting <laughs> yeah. or you know whoever I mean? had the authority to approve stuff right they didn't approve the juicy shit they just yeah was, you know it could be it yeah. was tepid yeah but leto was sort of unrecognizable as you can see there um, i mean I he think... looks like jeffrey tamborn bro look at him look i at know him. maybe that was his um that's jeffrey Mo tambor maybe right he modeled there, after jeffrey tambor maybe he wants to be more like jeffrey tambor so that's like that's like jeffrey tambor as a 70s porn director <laughs> it does it does look like him all right yeah. so hey you gotta move your hips faster son <laughs> faster okay we're running out of time we're gonna have to go to the dance break thanks a lot for being on the show this was super exciting i think Blas should get a uh nerf football and i think that jose should also get a nerf football um, for for Jose. winning the Jared Leto chameleon. All right, so let's do let's dance it out. Um, what you got? Jose what says you got? that he watched uh, the Tambor's porn. <laughs> no. All right, hey, so I got a great you, right? I got Come a great on, dance great. break. Um, they're one of my favorite YouTube bands, um, and I mean maybe huh. duos in the world. Um, they're called the Running Mates. Have you heard of them, the Running Mates? They're married. No, but now I am. Now you have. They're married. They're singing a song um, by the... Wait, by the Running Mates? Wow, that sounds mates. familiar. It does sound familiar, yeah. They're really good. It's just a... It's a, it's a guy and um, a gal and a, some guitars and some microphones just kicking ass. And, and musica. They're going to be playing a song by four non-blondes. You know four non-blondes? You heard of them? Huh. Yeah, they're, but they're brunettes now. Are they? <laughs> All right, let's get this thing going. Okay, thanks everybody for playing the, the contest today. Thanks everybody for breathing. Thank Congratulations, you for, Jose. I will whoop your ass later. Man. To the alpacas. And uh, here we go, dance time. Uh oh, what happened? That was crazy how we just disappeared like that. Here's me. And here is Loss. All right, there you are. 25 years and my life is still Trying to get up this great big hill of hope For yeah. a destination I'm going to get some uh, alpacas on this can you, are you in control of the volume? Oh, is the volume not enough? my volume for I don't know. I think it's pretty loud. There's an alpaca on so I cry sometimes when I'm lying in bed. Just to get it all out what's in my head. Can you hear it? I'm feeling a little peculiar. So I wake in the morning and I step outside. And I take a deep breath and I get real. 
scream, I scream at the top of my lungs, what's going on? And I said, I'm croaking. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, hey, what's going on? And I said, hey, yeah, yeah. What's going on? Oh yeah, running man. Mary says sounds good to her. It's definitely your volume. That alpaca oh, in the God, center try. is like a Pokemon. I try all the time. Those are all Pokemon. In this institution. And I pray. Oh, oh my God, God, do I pray. I pray every single day for a revolution. And so I cry sometimes when I'm lying in bed just to get it all out. What's in my head? I'm feeling a little peculiar And so I wake in the morning and I step outside And I take a deep breath and I get real high And I scream at the top of my lungs, what's going on? And I said, hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah I said, hey, what's going on? That great big hill of hope for a destination. <laughs> nice. Beautiful.